Well, as you may know, Florida insurance is the highest insurance for homeowners in the entire nation, but we might just be coming to a little bit of relief. Let's talk about this. This is fresh news, and I'm sure you're going to be excited if you live in Florida. Now, here's what's going on right now. We've had so many companies pull out of Florida, especially after Hurricane Ian in September uh, 2022. And now we've come to this point where the governor has incentivized some companies to come back in. Obviously, that was after we had a you know 68% increase from May of 2021 to May of 2023. So in two years, the average insurance rate rose 68%. But let's get into how this is going to play out and what we have happening. And by the way, my name is Machek Zaremba. I'm a real estate agent in Sarasota, Florida. And right now I am on Longbow Key. I'm on this pier over here. I don't know, this might be privately owned by this company, you know, this, this association. They have another one right over here. I don't know, but I came here because I love coming here and looking at the thousands of fish mostly you know kind of like bait fish but there's thousands of them and once in a while you get a nice big fish coming up so i just want to come out here and record a video enjoy nature just a little bit because i mean why am i here if i'm not enjoying the beauty of sarasota and manatee county so apparently we are going to have eight new carriers come into the florida market I'm excited because a lot of times these carriers will actually go and underwrite policies that are uh, hard to insure. You know, let me give you a couple examples. Home from the 1950s that has, you know, a fuse box or something like that. That's almost impossible to get insured. Or if the roof is uh, over 20 years old, that's almost impossible to insure. And maybe some of these companies will come in and help out those homeowners that just don't have the money to go and insure or replace the roof, you know? Now with increasing insurance costs, a lot of people have to sell their home. So hopefully this will prevent some of the people, especially those on retirement fixed incomes, from selling and leaving this beautiful state they call home. Now we already have three of these companies beginning underwriting policies. We have Orion 180 Insurance Company. Also, we have Manatee Insurance Exchange and Ovation Home Insurance Exchanges, writing policies as we speak. So if you are one of these people that owns a home and your insurance skyrocketed, maybe it's time to go get a new four-point inspection and a wind mitigation report. Submit them to these three carriers. Ask your insurance agent to go and quote your policy with these new companies you might be one of the few that gets a really good price. We just don't know until this plays out a little bit longer. But don't worry, we'll actually have more companies. We have five additional ones coming into Florida. So the market is probably gonna react a little bit better. Some of the people who are just on the fence or on the pier like me, and they can't figure out if they're jumping in or not. Are they buying a home or are they just gonna wait until something stabilizes? Well, this might be that call for them because this might be the help that some people are needing in actually getting affordable home insurance. Now, I also wanna quickly talk about how this is going to impact citizens insurance because this is really a big concern that people are not talking about, but I'm concerned because I have properties insured with Citizens Insurance Company. If you don't know, real quick, Citizens is the insurer of last resort. It is backed by the Florida legislature. It is not allowed to pull out of Florida, not allowed to file bankruptcy. They will continue writing policies in Florida until the law changes. And they took on way too many policies after we had 14 carriers leave the state in the last two, two and a half years. And then they began their depopulation program, which means that they got other companies, a couple other companies, to take over some of the policies. But the problem was that the first phase eliminated about 100,000 insurance policies from their books because they were just carrying too much risk. And by the time the second wave got implemented, just like three or four months later, they regained those 100,000 and more. Their policy count actually went up. So they're trying, but unfortunately, other companies, other carriers are not taking the load, not taking the risk. So this will actually help in alleviating the problem that Citizens Insurance is dealing with. And that is having 
too much percentage of the market, especially the high risk percentage. So Citizens is insuring a lot of the homes from the 50s and 60s or older, a lot of the wood frame homes, and a lot of homes with roofs over 15 years old. And if you're with Citizens, then you're gonna be forced to implement flood insurance policies before January 1st, 2027, depending on how much your policy is rated for. That's a kind of, there's a tiered system that every first of every year for the next three years, uh, more and more customers are gonna have to go and get flood insurance, even if you're in the X flood zone, a non-required flood zone. And the thing about that that is so important is on the back end, because if citizens declares that they are insolvent, which I think they're talking about that right now, that, that if one more hurricane hits, that they may not be able to pay out, and then they're gonna have to implement a mandatory 38 or 42, I forget the exact number, but it's gonna be a percent premium to all policy owners. So unfortunately, they're not in a position with enough liquid money to go and repair. If we have one more catastrophic event, such as Hurricane Ian, just not even two years ago. So this will really help it. But the critics are saying one thing. The critics are saying, oh, okay. The people who got sued, they left the state. They basically abandoned Floridians. And now these new companies are coming in after the insurance rates went up 68% and they're just gonna come and take advantage of people, get the policies, stay for a couple of years, and then pull out right before a hurricane hits. Well, listen, there's always gonna be critics. We never know when a hurricane's gonna come. These are natural disasters we're talking about. But I'm gonna continue living here because I love it. And if you're thinking about moving here, give me a call, 941-888-SOLD, that's my number, or you can email me at this email address right here.